Now, I'm usually not a fan of reboots, but we'll see how this goes. Welcome, welcome back to my YouTube channel, hashtag Movie Bay. I am Movie Bay, and in this video, I'm going to be doing a trailer reaction to the official trailer of the one of the most recent reboots, Fresh Prince of Bel Air, titled Just Bel Air. I'm not sure if y'all remember, but a couple of years back on Twitter, there was like a short film or a trailer release with the same premise of Fresh Prince of Bel Air. Fish out of water, Will Smith moves with his cousins, whoop de whoop. But it wasn't your lovable sitcom type show. It was more so dramatized, dark, serious. That new concept was developed by Morgan Cooper. And they decided to take the trailer and flesh it out into a full flesh series. So that's what I'm going to be reacting to today. And then stay tuned after my reaction for additional um for an additional review on this upcoming reboot just like so y'all know i might talk through this trailer because <laughs> you will you're gonna get this commentary okay that's why i'm making a youtube video so if that's not the type of thing that you like you might want to click off if you don't mind let's get into it this time we're trying to make you forget who you are and where you came from don't let it do that Jeffrey Thompson, house manager. Well, I wonder if that like jazz. I just saw him. Let me show you around. Where them dimes at? Okay, you have dark skin and viv. Well, let's go find you something fit for a friend. They all kind of brown. Okay. What do you think? I made you look. Yo, Uncle Phil. I'm glad you're safe. We'll talk later. Cause I'm cool. Yo, is this really baby Ashley? You're a long way from home, Mom. Oh, dude. How you been? You know, thriving. <laughs> I hope uh, one day we can talk about why you're really here. Okay. Do you know why I'm here from Philly? Scrapping the bull court. Got nasty. Who oh, threw that? Was it you? Grab a gun, folks. Oh, some bad man from Philly who wanted to deal with you. So Jeffrey isn't from England. Mountains. From the islands. <laughs> so here's the story. You came to Bel Air for a better education. So mm -hmm. be patient. Give this a real chance. We have a different set of rules here, okay? If you want to do well, just keep your head down and follow my lead. Oh, whoa, whoa. Yeah, you know I'm a rep West Philly wherever I go. Yo, can As you man? should. No love. Look around. These are my people. What? Now on, steer clear. Welcome to Bel Air. What the hell is my life? Yo, chill out, bro. I peeped the crisscross Maybe we'll brand. Enough for this. Why are we working so hard to save a boy who doesn't want to be saved? Because we're all going to him. This February. A real man takes responsibility for his actions. A real man knows when to let go of his pride and make the most out of a second chance. Be the whale who charmed West Philly with his talent and swag let the music diffuse that's all i'm saying you gotta he gotta have swag like this conform conforming thing there's no going back okay king of the town reboots uh for obvious reasons like don't mess with my shows a little background fresh prince is literally my favorite sitcom i love a lot of sitcoms i rewatch a lot of old sitcoms especially from the 90s and early 2000s um and fresh prince will legit always be my top favorite sitcom period love that show um what i love about fresh prince is Yes, it's a sitcom, so you have situational comedy, but they also gave you those heavy hitter serious topic, serious episodes. You know what I'm saying? Um, but they still sprinkled in the comedy because you can't have heavy, heavy, heavy. Like, you got to have light-hearted moments as well. Um, 
So Fresh Prince isn't new to having serious uh, themes in episodes. I know y'all remember when uh, Will, she, Will and Carlton, no, Carlton was doing speed because um, Will had it in his locker. When Will got shot, um, when him and Carlton were robbed at the ATM. Um, and of course, Will and his dad drama, right? And then you also have other like, educational moments like when Aunt Viv taught Will and Carlton's Black History course. Um, so there were a lot when Carlton and Will got pulled over and put in jail for driving a white man's car, a stolen car. Um, so there were a lot of gems, a lot of important episodes, a lot of culturally uh, relevant situations that happen in Fresh Prince. So that's nothing new. My hope for this show is you have the same premise, fish out of water. That's always fun, right? You have the fish out of water, but I don't want any of the episodes that have been done to be redid. Like, I still think like themes like the African American Studies course, um, like uh the drugs or like i mean like the speed when will was trying to keep up with all those white kids because they all doing it because y'all know like, mm. um <laughs> and even the it's like the stolen car the because carlton is more so you know abide by these rules and will's like yeah but i know the real rules like i'm not gonna forget i'm not gonna forget Okay, and Carlton was a little more oblivious to it. I found this, I honestly felt like Carlton had more learning to do than Will on the show. So to see this second chance, Will taking advantage thing, I want to see uh, where they go with that. That's just my personal opinion. I feel like Carlton had more learning to do than Will. Um, it, initially, it looks like Will was trying to fit in because season one of Fresh Prince of Bel-Air, Will was like, yeah, I'm a fit in. No, I'm not. Like, I'm fresh. Like, I'm that N-word. Like, period. So, you know, I hope... Uh, it it seems like it's just going to be drawn out. I like the fact that they gave Morgan Cooper his credit. Um, The young man who came up with this premise. Like, they didn't just take his idea from the internet and recreate their own show. Because y'all know Hollywood loves to take, especially from us. Um, so I love that they gave him his credit. He is co-directing. He is co, uh, co-directing, producer, co-writing. So I love that they gave him his credit. Give credit where credit is due. And I just want to say that that is so inspiring as a young creative. You know, he had a vision. He brought it to life. And then the right people saw it. And now you get to flesh out your vision to the world. And that is just so inspirational. So shout outs shout outs to morgan uh for that and i love your name by the way so will and jada are both producers on here um the producers i don't have their names pulled up right now i know from the shy and not the wire i don't think the wire but from the shy they're producing as well and co-directing so i think they're going to because they're they know how to the shy and they know how to do drama they know how to do drama um I'm honestly excited for the show, and I'm not a fan of reboots. It's going to be on Peacock, um, and it's going to premiere on February 13th. They said three episodes will premiere first, and then it will be a week-by-week -week basis. And they have also been pre-approved for two seasons, right off bat, just to let you know. So it must be good, or it, they must have some high hopes for it. Um, well, with all that being said... Let me know what y'all think about this reboot. Are you excited to see it? Um, I, I actually am. And I don't know if it's more so just because of uh, this being my favorite sitcom. And it actually looks like... Because I remember seeing the trailer on Twitter when I was on Twitter. Um, and it looked good. So I'm really excited. Morgan Cooper, you are so inspirational. You, you, made, you came up with your own. You put your work online. And it was seen. And they picked it up. Now you're making that bag. And you get to put, bring your vision to life for everyone to enjoy. That's so inspirational. As a creative, I can really see where this show can go. And I hope it does go. I still want the heavy topics. 
um but i just don't want episodes to be redone if that makes sense um because you have freedom to take this you have freedom to they have freedom to take this uh in different places i hope they bring you know i hope they still have will's father issues in there i can see i can see this i'm excited I'm excited. Like I said, go ahead and drop down in the comments. Let me know what you're thinking. How you feeling? Are you going to watch? Are you not going to watch? Like, let me know. Hit that thumbs up button if you were feeling this review. And I'll see y'all next time. It's a date.